never seen fog like this before. I feel like the black pearl is going to emerge. Awful bitter taste helps me forget that when I leave in your mind. Look who's here. <laughs> Times they are a changing Last week, our wonderful friend Yosha, or as Riley refers to her as Squash, blessed us with her presence once again for the sail down to the Canary Islands from Ceuta, Spain. We got out of the busy jib straight in one jibe and managed to not hit anyone. We were expecting a few solid days of wind, a bit of inconsistent nonsense in the middle and maybe some headwind coming into the Canary Islands. We'd be making the most of the good weather while it lasted. Beautiful. Two days down, three to go. Not sure if you guys can see, but there's some very strange fog behind me. Over here and all the way over there in front of us. There's a bit of sea life, we've found a um, flying fish on the deck. All of this makes for a bit of an interesting sail and uh, it's good to see a bit more life in and around the place. There's a bird right there. Hey, mate. My way. I would always have you by me. Yeah. The world's on fire every time what are you girls doing? is very strange. I've never seen fog like this before. It's just a crazy feeling. I feel like the black pearl is going to emerge from the distance. It's just so weird. The fog has brought all kinds of moods on board the Vagabond. There are dolphins coming. Oh! <laughs> what? We don't need no home. We don't need no room. And the wind will do. So let's get out of here. Let us see what's there. And let's get out of here. It's unreal. This is the best dolphin activity I've ever seen. Yeah. What have you cooked for us here, my darling? Spaghetti bolognese. And we just chucked some leftover raw veggies on top. Wonderful. Oh yeah, it's movie time. Push it. There we go. Oh. Yeah, the fog's all gone now. Really? Yeah. You can see all the stars. In fact, before we watch the movie, should we all go outside and have a quick look at the stars? All right. Follow me this way, everyone. <laughs> Caleb, Can you explain to me about the weather? It didn't come. I was supposed to get um, 15 and then 20 knots on the nose. About nine hours ago? Yeah. But um, it didn't come, so got about seven knots and it's going to be a beautiful code zero day. Alright. So let's go and hoist that Alana. Come on. <laughs> no fish so far. No, and you promised. I did actually. They're in trouble. One thing I did notice though is we're tracking over a place called Conception Bank. What do you think about that? Well, you've got how many nautical miles Should left? You've got 99 crack? nautical miles until we are we need a fish or That's baby making banks, that's what that's what it is. <laughs> I think it would be silly if we didn't at least try. Yeah. We'll get something. We you have agree? to. We have to.
this is absolutely beautiful. We are going 4.5 knots in 5.5 knots of true wind. Insanity. I don't even know what it's called, but the rope that pulls the back bottom bit of the sail has frayed, it needs to be cut off, shortened and retied. You know when we tie a bowline to the dock and you go around it so that it doesn't chafe like that? Yeah. We need. I need to do that here. Yeah, what's going on out here? Chess. I think Josh is winning by a bit. He is. Okay. Any fish? No pescado apart from the tuna man hanging around the boat, but he doesn't want to bite our lure and he's our friend so we can't eat him. I'm going to go say good day to him. <laughs> there he is. G'day mate. Been hanging around all day, haven't you? This is the sort of thing that probably a lot of you don't realise goes on. But I've got the code zero up, which means I don't want the apparent wind speed to go above 12 knots. Now it's not a big deal because I could just wind it in, um, but I can't be bothered doing that. So I'm getting a little bit close to this ship and what I'm doing is I'm not playing chicken, but I'm like having to steer to port, which is picking up the apparent wind speed and then loosening off and going back and I'm getting like kind of close to him and paying attention and going and steering and then coming back in and it's um it certainly keeps you awake on on night shift we're on the home stretch now we've been blessed with 15 to 18 knots of wind uh, and we've only got about 40 nautical miles to go half an hour later we did find the headwind we were talking about earlier 25 knots on the nose until we would be arriving in Lanzarote. So none of us want to go outside and film the mayhem. So we've come up with an idea. We've stuck a GoPro to a pole, a gigantic pole, and I'm going to get sticking. Starting with the kitchen porthole. <laughs> Beside of me, she said, Oh, honey, what we gonna see? You said, A couple of cars. We had arrived. We cruised past the national park with a marina we would have loved to have parked up for the night in. After five days at sea, we were all pretty keen on a beer, but a quick radio call confirmed there was indeed no spaces left for us. There was a fairly open anchorage just across the channel where we decided to drop the pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just roll our bones, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just roll our bones to that ashtray, go to that ashtray. Hello, everybody. Wait. Can't waste water. <laughs> so we're a little bit disappointed that there's no spot for us in the little marina there. We should so have booked beforehand, apparently. We were supposed so that's to book my like fault. two weeks prior or something ridiculous like that. Sorry. Um, I'm going to go and check on the anchor. Riley's going to go check on the anchor. I don't know if you're giving me enough credit for going and checking on the anchor. Riley's Ryan. jumping in the cold water and checking on the anchor. Thank you. I'm very, very proud of him. place just yet. I've never been to Alice Springs where Riley's dad's from in the middle of Australia. Where? Alice Springs. Oh. I've never been to Alice Springs before but I like... Oh, Alice Springs? Nope. Uh, but Sorry, I think I, I see Uluru. It's just a brown rock. Um, but it's very outbacky. Oh, <laughs> it's been a big sale. <laughs> what have we stumbled across here? I don't know, someone's lovely structure of a house. Yeah. It's quite cute. 
Hello. Oh, he's a happy chappy. <laughs> Drink, oh. <laughs> <laughs> or do I know the girl from before? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, she is. <laughs> Good morning. Good afternoon. How are you two today? Terrible. No Dead bueno? Tired. Because of the way the night shift panned out, I was very, very tired when we arrived uh, yesterday afternoon. So I had a couple of beers very quickly yeah. and then was in a very deep sleep. Yeah, Riley was out of it as soon as we got home. Then I woke up at 10 o'clock at night, went for a swim. And the guys on the boat next door yeah. were uh, just about to head home. There was a bit of a party on the Vagabond last night. And it all finished by the time I woke up. Yeah. <laughs> Successful that. Staring. We're baking a cake. Making well, dessert. Yeah. And with very few ingredients, we have no food on the boat, so... We've done well, though. You've been very helpful this morning, Ross. I know. Who's my little chef? <laughs> Don't condescend me like that. Oh. <laughs> Got some custard made out of tofu, silken tofu. <laughs> what do you rate it? Oh, uh, that's a solid seven. Yeah? Yeah, that was very nice, Lana. Yosha? Yeah, I think for the ingredients that we had, it turned out really good. Yeah. It was delicious. <laughs> What's going on, Raz? I gotta go save this boat. We met some guys last night who are fans of our channel. They bought a boat and they don't know how to sail either and they're dragging anchor. <laughs> That's them there. And they were like way over here in front of us. So it's currently blowing 30 knots, Elena. Yeah. But the anchor's nice and dug in with at least 20 metres of chain that's buried in sand. Extremely dug. We are not moving anywhere, but there are, like, there's swell here. We should name our anchor Doug. That's a cute name. I quite like that. Once the girls got over their hangovers, we went and checked out the beach we were anchored by. Please don't forget to like the video, leave us a comment, share it with your friends and all that good stuff because it really helps us. Join us next time as we say goodbye to Yosha and prepare for the big Atlantic crossing.